Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, let's take a look again at the euro currency on the daily time frame. We do not see really much price action, although market was trying to show some pullback from the level of oversold on the daily time frame and the hitting of the 127 extension of that pattern, A, B, C top. That pullback was relatively sh shallow and market just yes, to the downside. Well, now it stands around 120 to 60 area. Why market still holds here? If you will take a look at the monthly time frame, you will see that 120 to 60 area is the minor 88 FIB support on the monthly time frame. But what could be the minor on the monthly time frame? On the daily time frame, this could be could have much greater strength. So that's I suppose still holds market and currently I can say that that market is really has continued move to the downside. It still holds stands around the support area. But currently price is not at oversold anymore. And if you will calculate the level of the oversold for the current trading session, it will be right around 12970 area. That is also the 127 extension of the butterfly, the nearest extension target of the butterfly. Also, that is the 1618 extension of this pattern, and weekly pivot support one. It's 12139. It's right here. So that is the next potential target of the down move. But I think that it's not finished yet, and not all done with the, this area of support and market still has the chances to show some respect of this area, show some minor retracement maybe to, uh, to the just free eight resistance as we expected from that move to the downside. On the four hour time frame what do we see? That is our potential double repo buy that uh, as we thought could be created by the price action on the yesterday trading session but take a look that was the confirmation bar, but there is no, that was no new low on the double report. There's relatively much difference between the bottoms, and I do not like to see it. When the, when you look at the pure double report pattern, the bottoms uh, almost equal, or even the second bottom, it's a bit lower than the first one. When we dealing with the double repo pattern we will, would like to see that sellers try to continue and push market lower after the first retracement but here we do not see it this was just a minor pullback to the downside that's closing below the 3 by 3 and returns right back so uh, although that was theoretically double repo but uh, it was a bit not perfect it's probably the double repo low or something Lookalike pattern, but currently we will not uh, we will not discuss this pattern anymore since it has failed here. So if you are a scalp trader and you enter right here on the short side of the market, you could get some profit by the dealing with the double repo failure pattern. Well, currently it's another moment that is interesting on the price action. So here you can see the monthly support I intentionally was drawing here. So it, it support on the monthly time frame. The destination area that I would like to see as the retracement on the market is the same. It's around 124.09, 124.10 area. That is also the weekly pivot point that has not been tested yet by the market. Let's take a look at the hourly time frame. On the hourly time frame, what do we see? The market creates new lows, high lows, sorry, lower lowers and lower highs, so this correct move to the downside. 
and you can see that each upward swing is smaller than the previous downswing. So you can see this downswing, upward swing, downswing, upward swing, downswing. Currently we, s we know that market stands at support, market stands at 127 extension target of the pattern on the 4 hour time frame, I did not see it on this chart from that pattern, okay, on the daily time frame. So mm -hmm. what we see, the yesterday's bottom that has been created right here was the 127 extension of that swing. So also we have the bearish, oh sorry, bullish divergence with the MACD indicator right at the monthly 88 support. Theoretically, we could get some kind of the bullish wedge pattern that also could be simultaneously that free drive buy. So if market will show some pullback, then continue move down, create the new low. This could be also the reversal pattern. This pattern is very often, and as a rule, we could say even as a rule, accompanied by divergences. And uh, I prefer to get these patterns at some uh, support area. Although 88 is, as we said, minor support on the monthly time frame, on daily time frame it could be quite sufficient to trigger some retracement, especially if we count only on the shell retracement, on the 3 free retracement of the previous swing down. So that is a particular pattern that I would like to see on the market. The second moment that I would like to see is that new swing to the upside should be greater than previous swing to the downside. For instance, if market will form this free drive and will show the swing to the upside greater than the previous swing down, that will be the confirmation that probably the short-term reversal, short-term deeper retracement has started. Until that will happen, it's very difficult to be confident with the the hope that market will probably show some any pullback on the market since price action is really heavy today. Well, what we could do from the practical standpoint? There are two possible ways to act here. The first way to act is to enter on some small position, small lot on the short side of the market because uh, will market form this front drive or bearish wedge and will it show any bounce? We do not know currently. And since market now doesn't stand at a result anymore, it easily could continue move to the downside. So just control your risk, calculate your position with the possible retracement to the weekly pivot point and with the placing stop above the previous 618 resistance, that is also weekly pivot resistance 1 is 125.60 area. Well, uh, based on this calculation you could estimate your potential lot to enter short right around this area. If market will show retracement to the upside, you will add more and uh, major your position right around 124.10 area to enter short. That is the way, uh, the first way how we could act. The second way is to wait either retracement to the upside, the same area, and enter with the total position right in this area, it's from 124.10, or Wait clear signs of the downward continuation and enter on the nearest retracement. For instance, we know that the next target is 121.40, 120, 121.70 area. And if market will continue break out for this area to the downside, like here, you, should, you will have to drop your time frame to the hourly, hourly chart, to this chart, and to catch the first retracement to the upside, shell retracement, nearest retracement enter short with this retracement. Other words, <coughs> beg your pardon. Other words, just wait the clear sign, wait the real action from the market and join it. That is the second way to act. The first way is simpler since it doesn't demand uh, any skills with dealing with the fast move in the market, but it will probably give you worse risk reward ratio and you will have to wait 
some drawdown on the account if market already shows this pullback. The second way will give you greater risk reward ratio and small risk but it demands some skills with um, entering and running market and dealing with the lower time frames and catching the retracements and so on. So that's choice is up to you but currently if we exclude this pattern I do not see anything more. That is only potential pattern that could be could, could appear on the market and this is just the pattern that could trigger any retracement to the upside. So in fact we should wait uh, any development. If market will show upward swing greater than the previous some downswing that could tell us that probably this retracement has started. If market will show acceleration through this area to the downside something like that then we will have to just catch the nearest retracement to enter short with the destination target 121.70 area. 